All right, now let's make a two balloon turkey. What we're gonna need for this is a 160 orange or yellow or even red if you wanna do red and a brown 260. So one uh, orange, yellow or red 160 and one brown mocha brown 260. And what we're gonna do is inflate the brown 260 um, all but a six finger tail. So six fingers, which should be about five inches. And then we're going to inflate the 160 with the seven finger tail. So it should be about four, five, six, seven fingers, which is about, this one's, this one's about um, five and a half inches. Okay, what we're gonna do next, we're going to take um, the Mocha Brown 260 and twist a one inch bubble and pinch twist it. Hold this uh, knot tight when you turn it. So it's about like uh, one and a half fingers. Hold that tight and turn it. Just a nice round bubble. And then we're going to take a, um, the 160 and wrap that around and tie it to the top of this pinch twist. And then we're just gonna take two tiny loops to get the little poof on the top of the turkey. So you just wanna bend it over so it's just like one finger fits. So we're gonna use the rest of that. So just two little loops like that. Just little ones to give it a little poof at the top of your turkey's head. And then what we're gonna do is make a two finger bubble with the mocha balloon right under this pinch twist but you want to when you do that you want to run this you want to pull your 160 down a little bit like that so pull this down and twist this right around like that so so this is kind of pulled down tucked behind the head where the eyes go on the turkey and that'll be where the eyes go right there twist that around and then we're gonna make two little uh, pinch twists just like we did up here two little loop twists you just loop it around right like this and flip it and then loop it around again these are like the turkey's little beak cheeks right like this and then this gets a two finger bubble for the top of the beak and then again, you pull that back and make about a one and a half finger bubble. Make it a little shorter for the underneath of the beak of the turkey. And just pull it, wrap it around and tuck it in right behind. And that looks like that needs twisted. I'm just going to turn it all around so I have that. Right like this. And then we need a neck for the turkey. And that's going to be a two finger bubble. Just a little two finger bubble, maybe a little bit shorter than the head. So just like this, and this just runs along the back the whole way. And now we make a one inch bubble, like a little round cherry tomato size bubble and pinch twist it. And then this is gonna run along the back on the inside. And we just want about two fingers on the orange one, right? And from the back of this pinch twist, twist that and twist a little half inch bubble or a little round one, pinch twist it. And then this is gonna run around the bottom of the body of the turkey. So make a little kneecap for your turkey. Just flick it out. So right down along, right where it will be at the bottom of the turkey's body. This, this um, pinch twist goes in the front of his neck to hold his neck up. 
So right where this will go, um, this is the underbelly. So right where that's the underbelly, which is about it's about five fingers of a, the orange one. And we're going to pinch off another little half inch bubble and pinch twist it. So this will run in the middle and go back up, but we have to give them little feet first. You only need one pinch twist there. Just give them two little bubbles, just like you did for the cheeks and just like you did for the top. Two little bubbles right here. Spin that around and then go up around the underbelly and spin that around right like this and then we're going to curve this up twist it around so this bottom um, underbelly is like about the size of like six fingers and then this will get ran right into that I mean you might have more and you might have less of this 160 so it doesn't matter I mean if and you want to break that off but I mean on my other one I made I had a little bubble left so I just wrapped that tiny little bubble into the back and didn't worry about it which I can do I can just run that in the back I don't know if that will look right though so I'm gonna break it off and tie it tie it right around there I'm gonna knot it two times so it doesn't come undone so you have this and then make a one inch bubble and pinch twist it and then we're gonna go up to the brown pinch twist that's in the front and then run this bubble back to the back pinch twist. Right like that. I'll see I had extra room on my orange one so I could have made his feet bigger or these things bigger if I wanted to or maybe even added three. It helps if you stretch your 160 um, to try to get it as long as you can before you start twisting. Then you can add like a little extra up here or to the cheeks or to the feet. So I have this and what I'm gonna do is just squeeze it here and here, apply even pressure, squeeze it up, go the whole way up, just try to fill that out. So I'm just gonna keep squeezing that here and here until that's filled out and then bend it down and take the end of it. It should have room because it shouldn't be filled the whole way. And just wrap this around just like that. Okay, and then fill this out so it's round, and then we're going to just hold this, it should be pretty mushy, and spin it so that the top one is longer than the two side ones. So, like my top one is about eight fingers, and the side ones are about five fingers. So this is about eight, five, and five fingers right here. And then it should be mushy enough. Then you're just gonna turn this into a loop, flip it around, turn this into a loop, flip it around, and just flip everything around so nothing comes undone and put this pinch twist right in the back. And you may have a little uh, piece of an orange one which you can just uh, put it like right under here in the back just like on that one okay so then what we're gonna do is draw his eyes on he's all done oh, this is the brown one I guess it doesn't matter Let's see how this one. I'm gonna um, draw the eyes kind of close together and big close to the beak and depending like what kind of face you put on yours um, I think the face can make it or break it I and mean, <laughs> make it look really cute or it can make it look a little cheesy. So try to practice drawing the faces. So I like the eyes close together because I think it makes them look cuter. 
And if you have an editing marker, you can draw that on and let that dry and then uh, go over top of it to give like white in his eyes. But this is the two balloon turkey. And if you um, practice it a couple times, you get the hang of it. And it's not that bad to do, even with line work. Line work. And there you go.